Today in this video, we're going to be talking about the triangles of chemistry. These triangles of chemistry are going to help you become experts in stoichiometry. The first triangle that we're going to talk about is relating mass, moles, and molar mass to each other. Mass is on top and the units that we're generally going to use is grams. Moles and molar mass is on the bottom of the triangle. Molar mass is in units of grams per mole. The way that this triangle works is that if we divide, let's say, mass by moles, we end up with the remaining term, which is molar mass. This is shown in this box over here. Same thing goes if we divide mass by molar mass, we're left with the remaining term, which is moles. And lastly, if we multiply the terms on the bottom, moles and molar mass, we get the term left over on top, which is mass. And that's shown by this box over here. An important definition to know is the definition of a mole. A mole is the amount of material containing this amount of particles. This number is Avogadro's number. It's an incredibly large number and a number that we will use in some of these calculations. The next triangle relates moles, volume, and concentration to each other. Volume is generally going to be in liters because concentration is going to be in molarity, which is moles per liter. Once again, if we divide moles by liters, we end up with concentration, which is in moles per liter. And also, if we divide moles, which is on top, by concentration on the bottom, we end up with volume, which is in liters, which is represented by this box. And lastly, multiplying the two terms on the bottom, concentration and volume, gives us moles on top, which is represented by this box. The last triangle that we're going to talk about compares particles, which can be anything from molecules or atoms, compares that to Avogadro's number, which we talked about before, and moles as well. If we divide the number of particles by Avogadro's number, we get the number of moles. If we divide the number of particles by the amount of moles, we end up with Avogadro's number, which is represented by this box. And lastly, if we multiply the two terms on the bottom, moles and Avogadro's number, we end up with the number of particles. Let's try a couple questions and put these three triangles to work. The first step that I always like to do is to write down all of our information here. We're given that N equals 3.2 moles in the question, and we're looking at ethanol. We can calculate the molar mass by adding the molar masses of each atom individually. This is done by looking at a handy-dandy periodic table like this one. This question is asking how many molecules are in this. So this is going to be N, which is the number of molecules which we're trying to solve for. Our first triangle that we can use is this one up here. We have 3.2 moles, which is this term, and we have Avogadro's number already. We already know that constant. So moles times Avogadro's number, 3.2 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23, gives us the number of molecules that we have. And our answer is that we have 1.927 times 10 to the 24 molecules. But how many total atoms do we have? We have two carbons, six hydrogens, and one oxygen, giving us a total of nine atoms per molecule. So we multiply the number of molecules that we got by nine atoms per molecule. These molecules would then cancel out and we're left with 1.7343 times 10 to the 25 atoms. This is a relatively easy question because we just had to use this one triangle up here. The more complicated questions is when we're gonna have to use more than one triangle. Stay tuned for my next videos where we're gonna have to use more of these triangles in a question. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget, subscribe to The Chemistry Kid for more.